Hello and welcome back to Aria Story. My name is Tran Lee and yeah, this is episode 2 of Aria Story. We're still in the book of comedy if I'm not mistaken. We have a few items. And for you guys who don't remember, Arya is kept in a library, in a magical library. And she's trying to find a way out. There are many comedy books on the bookshelf. Alright. So apparently we have to find four um, carts. There's a secret passage inside of this room. Do you think you're capable of finding it? Um, I mean, I should be. There are many comedy books on a bookshelf. Oh, there you go. Not that um, difficult. Especially if you tell me about it. Do you want to read this book? Sure. There's a card in one of the pages. You've obtained the Ace of Clubs. Oh. I don't think I want to get too close to it. Right, so we have all cards now. There's a drawing of a clock and card suits. I wonder if it means anything. Alright, so it's hearts, spades, diamonds, and clubs. And I think the clock shows 9 o'clock. So I believe that means like from the left to the right, maybe? So let's start with hearts. Right, next one is space. All right, then comes diamond. And last one is clubs. All right, there you go. And she's gone course all right oh and that's it with the a book of comedy that was fast <laughs> I probably could have done this in the last episode chapter two fairy tales a soldier toy whose leg is missing he has a toy gun with him. Soldier toy. He has a toy gun with him. Oh, were they loading the gun? An owl. There's something in its beak. This is for me? You've received an invitation. Thank you. Read the invitation. Yeah, sure. You're formally invited to the party on the third floor. We look forward to meeting you. A silly monkey toy. Oh. The door is locked. I mean, this doesn't look that bad so far. There's a note on the floor. Take it. You've obtained the note. Do you want to read it? Yes. Quill, glasses, bookmark, ribbon, magnifying glass, ink. Alright, I have no clue what that means. Have you come here to play a game? What could we play? Chess or maybe musical chairs? Sorry, I didn't come to play. Let's play hide and seek. Uh, are you listening to me? I'm going to hide in a place in this room and you have to find me, alright? Alright, okay, close your eyes. I found you. But my hiding place was perfect. How did you know I was hiding here? Bookshelf full of books was the perfect hiding place for a book. Wow, you're so smart. I mean... I guess. 
That was really fun. Thank you for playing with me, Arya. Okay, do I get something? I don't even get anything? <laughs> I was only doing this because I thought there was a prize. That's a box full of toys. There are many fairy tales on the bookshelves. I'm really disappointed. I really thought, like, I would get a prize or, like, an item. Oh. What the? I'm lost. I want to go home. Can you help me? Help. Thank you. My name is Dolly. Dolly has joined the party. It's kind of creepy. I, like, fun fact. I don't like dolls. Like, dolls creep me out. Because, I don't know, but it feels like they, they're they able to, like, look into your soul. I don't know. I just... Just dolls. Like, not teddy bears or anything like that. But, like, dolls. Like, human-like dolls. Kind of creep me out. Like, especially those kind of baby dolls. Yeah, those those creep me out. Or uh, mannequins, you know? Like, the, the ones in, like, clothes shops. Yeah, those creep me out as well. Do you want to play with me? Yeah, sure. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Uh... Scissors. Dot, dot, dot. I use paper. That means you win. I mean, is a book even able... <laughs> is a book even able to... <laughs> to to do anything else? It means you win. When I play with other books, it's always a draw. I'd like to win someday. I don't think this is the most appropriate game for a book. I guess you're right. Let's play again on another occasion. I'll think of a different game. Okay. These were the first books I read when I was little. My love for books started thanks to them. There are many fairy tales on the bookshelf. She wanted to escape from the mysterious library, but it was not an easy task. Did you know that many fairy tales deal with dark subjects? I find them very interesting. Sorry, I do not dis I do not wish to distract you with idle conversation. I'm sure you're busy. What is wrong? Can I ask you something? Of course. Is this the first time you've narrated what comes what happens to someone? Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Mm -hmm. Huh? Are you waiting for an answer? I said you could ask. But I never said I would answer. Huh? Eh? That's unfair. The silence disappointed her. Instead, she decided to continue exploring. That is actually really disappointing. Like, there's a book called The Four Fairies. Once upon a time, there were four sisters who were born under a curse. For nine months, for nine months of the year, they would be in a deep sleep and they could only wake up during the remaining three months. Tulip, a friendly and sweet fairy, woke up at the beginning of the spring, and slept when it was over. The most cheerful fairy, Sunflower, only woke up during the hot summer. Aster, calm and kind, opened her eyes when autumn came. Snowdrop, the most reserved and serious of the four, woke up during the cold winter. The years passed and they died without even knowing each other. That is kind of sad. Alright. So, we have the doll that we have to bring somewhere, right? Uh, oh, okay. A pretty and elegant doll. A pretty and elegant doll. Pretty and elegant doll. Um, so where do I have to put you? This is my house. Thank you. Take this. You have, you've obtained the tree key. Alright. Whatever that is. The food looks delicious, but it's fake. Uh, please don't move. Please. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, I haven't been here yet. A small teddy bear. Oh. Safe spot. Did I save already? I think I did.
Mm, there's a bowl of soup on the table. It seems too cold. There's a bowl of soup on the table. It seems delicious. Do you want to drink it? No. There's a soup of bowl. Uh, <laughs> there's a soup of bowl on the table. Yeah, it seems too hot. Is this like Goldilocks? Are those bears called Goldilocks? There's a book called Goldilocks and the Free Bears, written by Robert Sothe. There's a book called... Yeah, okay. I thought it was like a different one, maybe. Oh! There was... Was there something in the window? I don't know. There's a tulip in the vase. Leave it. Okay, I, I have a bad feeling about this room. I have a bad feeling about this room. You know what? Fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna take the tulip. What, what's, what I saved, what possibly could go wrong? Take it. You obtained a tulip. Alright. Oh. The bears are gone from the uh, painting. I didn't drink the soup though. I think it's only a problem when you drink the soup and you uh, stay in the bed. The doorknob is gone. Okay, never mind. Oh, there's something written on the door. If Goldilocks had been more careful, the bears would never have found her. Alright, never mind that. Oh, wait, no, I have the feeling that I'm missing something. Possibly I need to find like a different tulip that I can then put into there. The door is locked, use the tree key. Oh yeah, exactly, I found the key, right? Uh, the vase is empty. There's an aster inside the vase. Take it. Sure. The vase is empty. Do you want to place the aster? Yes. There's a sunflower inside of the vase. Alright. Vase is empty. Do you want to place the sunflower? Yes. Alright, so it was um, tulip, sunflower, aster, and uh, snowdrop or something. Oh! The door is locked. A note has appeared on the floor. Help the others. Alright. So I know where Tulip is, but I think I can't, like, get there yet. Oh. Move the chair, yes. Alright, she's gone. Maybe I should go back and save. And those are all the rele relevant things that have happened until now. Hmm. I see. Thanks for your help. Uh -huh. Is everything alright? You don't look too good. I've already told you that using this quill is extremely exhausting. I feel that it's taking away all my energy. I have to control too many things at once. Why are you doing all this? I need my plan to be a success. It's the only way to make sure it does. Ah, uh, sorry. It's the only way to make sure it works. Mm -hmm. Is the plan to relate? Is the plan related to Aria? <laughs> yes. What is your plan? You haven't told me yet. I can't tell you yet. At least tell me one thing. Are we doing something bad? Am I contributing to an evil plan or something like that? I don't want to be manipulated. <laughs> do you really think I would do something like that? I can assure you that we aren't the villains of this story. We're changing this story. For good. I don't understand what you mean, but... I'll keep helping you. I still can't believe you have that object in your possession. The quill. It's a secret that my family has maintained for generations. Right now, I'm the, o I'm the one responsible for protecting it. Aren't you doing the complete opposite? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. But sometimes you need to break the rules for the sake of others. If you say so. Well, I must leave. I'll see you later. Aria. I can't wait to see you again. I'm going to fix my mistake. Please, Aria. Reach the end of this story.
Right? The door is locked. A cute teddy bear. Oh, a safe spot. There are many gifts under the tree. This year Santa brought a present for all the nice books. I want to open my gift, but I don't know which one is mine. I don't want to open a gift that isn't for me. Can you help me? My gift is the perfect compliment for a book like me. All right. Um, oh, that is definitely not a good sign. I'm not going to talk to that one. Are many fairy tales. It's a fireplace decorated with Christmas decorations. Um, I think it's a blue book, so is it a blue ribbon? Are you sure? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, I became a doll. Sheesh. Alright, let's try again. Okay, uh, what's the complementary color for blue? Is it yellow? Yellow rib. But there are two yellows, right? Orange, no, okay. I think I think for blue it's yellow, right? Yellow, are you sure? I'm not. I wasn't that good in, in uh, arts. There's a bookmark inside. You've obtained a bookmark. Show him the bookmark, yes. A bookmark? Just what I wanted. Can you put it on me? It looks really good on you. It's a very pretty bookmark. Thank you, Arya. A bookmark is the perfect accessory for a book. There's only gifts for books here, but I think you deserve this one too. If you go to my secret base, you can keep the object that you like the most. I keep all my treasures there. Really? Thank you. Use this map if you don't know where my secret base is. You have obtained a map. If you want to see the map, yes. Alright, inside of a room with six bookshelves. Uh, the top left. Alright. It's a very elaborate map for just a room. Like, it even has, like, a North Star on it, you know? Very, like, like this is Northwest, East, South. Like, come on, it's just a room. It's not like your secret room is somewhere, like, in a different dimension. Oh! It's a person. Oh, wait, what does she say? There are many fairy tales on the bookshelf. Oh, I missed what she said. Uh, something with like age doesn't matter, even though they're like written for kids or something like that. Do you like books? Uh. Huh? Did I scare you? Sorry, I didn't mean to. You were so focused reading a book that you didn't notice me coming in. Dot dot dot. I thought I was the only one trapped in this place. Seeing someone else here makes me so relieved. Uh, but that doesn't mean I'm glad you're also trapped. Why? Huh? Why are you talking to me with such confidence? In the situation you're in, you shouldn't trust anyone. Y you're right, but you don't seem like a bad person. <laughs> Wait. Dot dot dot. Did I say something wrong? Oh! Am I gonna die? That- that was- that was scary. Better save twice, just to make sure, you know? I'm late, I'm late! I must hurry up or I'll be late to the party! Is this like a Alice in Wonderland thing? Are you the owl from before? It's great to see you again. The door is locked. They say you can run by pressing shift, but what does that mean? Do you think someday I'll be able to win against a rabbit in a race? It's my dream. Yes, I'll continue my training. 
Oh. My soldiers. So this is the secret base. Oh! I think this is the book's secret base. There's a bunch of stuff on the floor. There are many things on the floor. Is that me? Many things on the floor. There's a tulip inside of vase. It looks real, but it's fake. Take it. Alright. Obtain the fake tulip. Many things on the floor. Alright. So we got a fake tulip. Which we're probably going to need in the room down below. An illustration book for kids titled The Meaning of Flowers. You want to read it? Sure. But which flower would you like to read? The sunflower. Apollo, the sun god, rode his golden carriage every day in the sky from east to west. Clitie, a water nymph, watched Apollo passing through the sky. One day, she sat on a rock for nine days without water or food. She was devoted to observing Apollo. On the last day, she turned into a flower that was later called the sunflower. The sunflower watches the sun from dawn to dust, signifying admiration. Okay. Because its petals are star-shaped, these flowers are called the asters. They symbolize tenderness because of how goddess Asteria cried when she saw that the stars in the sky were no longer there. When her tears fell, asters flourished. That's actually quite elaborate. Although every color has a different meaning, there's a legend of the meaning of the red tulip. A prince named Farhad was in love with Shirin. When she died, he took his own life, unable to stand the suffering of watching his loved one perish. A tulip flourished from his blood, dyeing it red with the meaning of perfect love. Snowdrop. An ancient legend tells that after being expelled from the Garden of Eden, Eve cried because once autumn arrived, flowers withered away and only snow fell. An angel appeared and to console her, the angel turned some snowflakes into snowdrops. This is the reason why snowdrops became a symbol of hope. A proof of winter ending and spring about to come. Very, very uh, philosophical meanings, man. Holy, I didn't know that. Like, I know that like every... F oh! There's a teddy bear guarding that entrance. I'm scared. Is it gonna disappear if I... No, it's still inside of there. It creeps me the fuck out. A chocolate bear. A chocolate bear. Door is locked. It's like um the witch's house, you know, like in Hansel and Gretel. Let's see here. Oh. Dot, dot, dot. This room is pitch black. I can't see anything. Maybe I just shouldn't go in. Yeah, maybe not. Can I go out again? The rabbit-shaped plant. Rabbit-shaped plant. I, I don't want to go past it. I... It disappeared. A doll is going down. Dude, this is creepy. I, I don't like this. It's like they're trying to, like, get me to go down. The cake paintings are very cute, yeah, true. Chocolate cake, a fruity cake, a pie, uh, fruity cake. Um, um, what's, uh, what's, what are these called? Um, um, God damn it! Come on, what are they called again? Uh, a cupcake, sorry, <laughs> and a chocolate cake. I didn't go to school because there's a test today and I didn't study. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> that sounds like me in school. There's a book titled The Velveteen Rabbit written by Marjorie Williams. There's a book titled Little Red Riding Hood written by Charles Perrault. Ho oh, oh, ho, seems like we have a new student. You're lucky, we're about to have a test. I hope you studied. A test? Now? Why don't you talk to your classmates before the test? Let me know when you're ready. Will you let me copy your test? Yes, thanks, you saved me. 
My test is gonna be bad though. So do you want me to give you a hint about the test questions? Yes. You should check the bookshelves in this room before you take the test. Alright. I'm the best student in the entire library. My grades are perfect, just like me. Alright. Uh Ugly Duckling, written by Hans Anderson. Velveteen Rabbit by Marjorie Williams. Um, Little Red Riding Hood by Charles Perrault and Red Shoes by Hans Christian Andersen. Okay. Uh, Ugly Duckling, Red Shoes, a Christian Andersen. And Little Red Riding Hood, Charles Perrault and Velveteen Rabbit by Marjorie Williams. Okay, let's try. Are you ready for the test? Yes. First question. Which of the following was written by Marjorie Williams, the Velveteen Rabbit? Yes. Second question. Who wrote Little Red Riding Ho Hood? Uh, Charles Perrault. Third question. Which one of the following wasn't written by Christian Henderson? The Red Shoes, The Ugly Duck, and Pinocchio. I finished the test. I'll grade it now. You got a 10 out of 10. A perfect score. Why don't you visit the chocolate house? It's your reward for passing. You've ob obtained the sweet key. Let's go. Uh, let's just say for good measure, you know, just just to be safe, safe. All right, the door is locked. Use the sweet key. Yes, please. Oh, different cakes. Oh, is this related to the um to the paintings on the wall? Okay, we have a chocolate cake, um. A cupcake, a fruity cake, and a pie. Alright, what was it? Um, I think it was chocolate cake. Fruity cake. Pie. Uh, cupcake. Oh, god damn it. Okay, let me let me look at the thing again. Okay, so it's uh, chocolate cake, fruity cake, um, pie, fruity cake, cupcake, and then... Okay, I, I was missing one more fruity cake. Alright. Let's try once more. Okay, so it's chocolate cake, fruity cake, uh, pie, fruity cake cupcake and then chocolate cake nice and there are cookies on the table take them you've obtained cookies all right what am i supposed to do with the cookies Now I'm curious about, like, since these all killed me, I'm curious about this one. Something's off about this gift. The gift laughed. <laughs> did I scare you? I didn't mean to. Or maybe I did. Huh, I'm hungry. It's been a long time since I've eaten something. Please don't say that you're well, what, don't say that while you're staring at me. Hehehe. <laughs> don't worry. I'm not interested in eating humans. Or maybe I am. Unless you want to find out, you better bring me something to eat. <laughs> okay, so that's what the cookies are for then. Do you want to give him the cookies? Yes, please. What a good smell they gave off. What? Did you want something in return? Hehehe. <laughs> Young people are very capricious. In exchange for these delicious cookies, I will give you some secret information. Do you see the fireplace next to me? If you search among the firewood, you will find a hidden door. Hehehe. <laughs> All right. Found a little door inside the fireplace. Open it, yes, please. I sell matches. Do you want one? They only cost one coin. You can use them to warm up this in this cold night or light it up. It's a shame you don't have any coins. There's a pretty white flower on the ground. Take it. You have obtained a snowdrop. All right, let's go. And I know how to get the tulip now since I have the fake tulip, right? So we should be able to solve, like, the tree room. Alright. Oh, wait. Have the dolls always been here? 
The doll has a horrifying smile on her face. Yeah, no, I hate those kind of things. Okay, let, let me save real quick. Let me save real quick because this is scaring me. Alright, so the dolls are... Are the dolls still in this room though? I'm alone. Where are the others? Yeah, they 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 are having a party in the USA. A small teddy bear. It has an was it has a knife in its fucking chest. Was that the dolls? Were that the dolls? Where are the dolls? Wait, uh, English. There was a knocking on the door. I'm scared. Take it. You're taking the tulip. Fake tulip. Do you want to? F yeah. Fake tulip in the vase. Oh my god, I'm scared. What happens when I leave the door? Okay. Um. Let me save another time. Silly monkey toy. Okay, tulip. Do you want to place a tulip in the vase? Yes. And then the snowdrop. Alright, door has opened. Someone has managed to open the door. Now I can leave and have my own adventures. Thank you for opening the door. That book was eager to leave this room and encounter new places. Is there anything I can do for you? I want to thank you in his place. Do you know how to how I can return to my world? I do not know the answer, but I think there is someone who could help you. The Book of the Wizard of Oz. If you visit him, I'm sure he will help you. You only need the, to walk the yellow brick road. The door that gives you access to that road is closed, but I have the key to open it. If you answer my question correctly, I will recognize that you deserve this key. Which flower means tenderness? Uh, is it the aster? I think it's the aster. That is correct. I did not expect any less from you. You've obtained the golden key. There's a book called The Little Prince, written by Atan de saint Exupéry. It's a... Okay, yeah, it's just The Little Prince. A painting of a fox. A painting of a snake. Alright. Oh, did they wilt? The f sunflower has withered. The tulip has withered. The aster has withered. The snowdrop has withered. Alright. And with that, I'm going to end the game here. Um, close the book. So with this, we end the first, uh, the second episode. <laughs> Sorry. With this, we end the second episode of Arya's story. We've made some progress in the book of fairy tales, but I don't want these episodes to be too long. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you, um, if you want to know how it continues, feel free to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and um, yeah, I see you guys next week. Have a good night. I'm Tran Lee, and you guys are awesome.